Hello everyone, my name is Michael Young and welcome back to Factorio, the C Block Mod Pack. So, I'm having a ton of fun with this mod pack by the way. I'm just, I know I seem frustrated at times, but it's a good sort of frustration. It's a frustration where you're slowly making progress and feel challenged the entire time. Anyway, the virtue, the, the main benefit from last time was we set up this little science uh, construction area which has the worst belting I've ever accepted. I mean, I down there, when we tried these circuits, that was pretty bad too. But this, this is just a mess. I, I hate it, but I, I, it's good enough. I don't want to mess with it anymore. So, just taking a stock of where we're at, um, we've got science going, and it's producing new things all the time. And from what I can tell, the new things kind of fit into two categories. They are introducing the ability to get new things, like things that I don't have anywhere in my fortress, uh, not a fortress, factory, or things that are they let you do things that I already am doing, but better. Ah, uh, let's get blue algae processing, sure. So, like, they're introducing entirely new ways to do all this ore processing that are more efficient, that are easier to deal with, and all that. And that's fine. I am so looking forward to eventually just knocking all this out and redoing it all from scratch, but better. But I don't want to start on that yet, because I, I want to wait till we unlock all the things, and then we can really do a, uh, a real survey of all the stuff that needs to happen. Until then... I kind of want to focus on the other other thing to do. The entirely new materials that we're going to need to deal with. And uh, in particular, I'm really interested in these nodules. It's getting dark. So, nodules. Not modules. Nodules. Nodules are made from mud, and you can use them to get slag. Or slag slurry, which is awesome. That I think that would really be helpful to get some more slag slurry into our lines, so we could get mineral sludge uh, converted over. Because right now, that's the issue. We just are not producing enough slag slurry. Um, actually, it's interesting. We're not actually we're not burning the mineral sludge as quickly as I thought. Or at least, it's just not transferring over as quickly. Maybe it's maybe it's because of sludge. It's harder to get it to move because this there's no sludge up here. It's all taken up by the time it gets to there. But over here, it's plent uh, over here. It's somewhat plentiful. It should be flowing along this way. I need pumps. Get the sludge moving faster. But uh, I'm gonna. I'll, well, we can rely that if this ever gets to a hundred, it'll be a hundred over there too. I think. Anyway, uh, anyway. So no nodules seem like a great way, a great approach. You get nodules from mud. So I want. There's also other things you get from mud. Let me just open, open up one of these. Washing plants. That was out of my range. Okay. So, mud is all about taking the dredged up uh, viscous mud water and slowly pulling mud out of it to get different concentrations of mud. And then at different concentrations, you can pull out nodules, or clay, or limestone, or sand. I don't think I need sand for anything yet. Right? Uh, yeah, we do need sand. We need sand and lime and clay for the for the clay bricks, which we'll need to uh, build all the tier two machines. So I kind of want. I'm thinking. I'm thinking of setting up a mud area. I'm trying to figure out where I want to do it. That is a medium worm. That's, we haven't fought a medium worm yet. So I don't, I don't have radar, so it's kind of ter hard to see it. But right now we've got wood down here, a wood factory, we've got a coal factory, we have all our solar panels. 
We've got slurry production, mineral production. Our our uh, circuit production is right here. This is our slag production, and this is plates, and that's science. And I'm trying to figure out where to put a mud thing, and I'm thinking I can either do it up here, in the hopes that that solar panels can spread down, or down over here, in the hopes that we won't need more wood than we're getting right now. Or if we do, we could we can have the wood go down. So I think I'm gonna do it right down here. Let's start clearing out a spot. In fact, I think I'll leave a I'll leave a gap in terms of a, a big water gap, so that we won't get well. Eventually, we might fill it in with more steam engines. So maybe we should make sure to leave enough room for another one of these these uh this pattern. So it's let's see. It's roughly that far, I think, that far. So, that's as far to the right we'll go for now. How close can I get to those? That's close. Okay, this is gonna be messy. Oh my. Th those medium worms. Do I have armor on even? I don't. Let's make some heavy armor. <laughs> Just to be safe. We probably need some more firearms too. Some more magazines. Because we've fought small worms before, we've cleared them out, but the big worms, or the uh, medium worms, are more tricky. Let's wait for this to finish so we're not interrupted. We have four gun turrets, let's put them right uh, there. I could use the other uh, inventory space, or tool belt. Yeah. Uh, there's this paste processing, too, that I need to look into. It's another way of doing stuff with the ore. I forgot about that. Ah, uh, we need that. I didn't realize we didn't have that. Let's get that. What's the deal with the paste? So if we were to make iron paste, we turn cellulose paste into iron ore, and then we can do what with it? Turn it into pre-artifacts, I see. But those are, those are well out of my way. I don't need the artifacts for anything yet. That's for like hot upper tier stuff. Okay, so don't kill me, don't kill me. Got a couple. Are these all medium worms? Yeah, three medium worms. They're knocking my things down fast. Don't, don't do that. That's not gonna work. Oh, we almost got that one. I should have should have let it persist for a few seconds more. Now. I 
I'm about to die, aren't I? Um, just grab that so I don't care. Don't, don't kill me. You died for me, man. That was very kind of you. Wow, I, I, huh. We can get it, but it's... Hmm. This is dangerous. Maybe I should wait for uh, more research to happen. are in reach. Okay, let's leave that alone. We can just ignore that for a little bit. Until I feel more confident approaching. Anyway, so this is going to be all about making these different, uh, different washing products. I just want to see what the deal is with them and how much of each things do I need to uh, to consume a, an entire thing. So let's see. One of these uh, produces 300 of the most viscous uh, thing each time. What is it? Yeah. Okay, we need to we need to map math this out. So a pump gives you three hundred uh viscous per second. Then we can turn that into heavy water. Or heavy mud water. Heavy to our uh, viscous to heavy happens at 100 per uh, 100 mud or uh, muddy water per. Per five seconds, and the speed of this is 1.5. So every three and a half, three and a third seconds, it will convert a hundred. And is the ratio the same all the way down? Yeah. So, this is effectively, uh, 30 mud per second. So we could fit 10 of these machines on just one of these, uh, pumps, only doing the first tier, which we might do. That, uh, that's where we get the nodules, right? Nodules are heavy, and this is creating heavy. So wait, but that, what would that? This is producing thirty mud per second, or thirty heavy per per one second. Nodules need forty every five seconds. So a nodule. Keep going to say module. Nodule. And it's just one, right? Yeah, just one. Uses 40 heavy per five seconds. 
No, it's per 3.33 again. Or 12 heavy per second. So, a ratio of 12 to 30, or 4 to 10, or 2 to 5. Okay, what about the other things? Clay is concentrated. It's, th it's the same amount as different. Uh, it's 40 versus 30 versus 20. So we can create even more of each. Interesting. The way they decrease it, it kind of makes me think they expect you to have a single chain that takes a bit of water out each time, you know? So like you, you go from heavy to light, uh, heavy to whatever, viscous to heavy, and take out some nodules. Then you go from heavy to something, and you have less less left over. Uh, engines? I mean, engines will need steel plates, but that's that's we can make that right now. Electric engines need lubricant. I don't know where lubricant comes from. This one's, these two are higher up on the chart, and this is even higher. Let's get this. <laughs> it will let me, ha let me make the storage tanks, which I can already make, but you know. This will give me batteries, or different types of batteries. But that needs way more science. Here, let's get this. Let's do, I, I, I kind of want to treat them all independently. So I want to like make, turn viscous into heavy and then use up all of that heavy rather than trying to pull out half of the heavy and then send the rest of it on to be turned into clay. And I want to uh, deal with each of them independently. So we are going to have a pump. We could have up to 10 of these washing things turn, turning out heavy water. So let's say we have 300 heavy water, 300 heavy mud. Then we could have a corresponding uh, heavy mud per second with 10 with 10 of these processing things. That would be the equivalent of 300 divided by 12, 25 of these nodule producing machines. That's quite a commitment. And we need to make we need to make 35 of these machines and fit them in here just producing nodules uh, but that would give me let's see what was exactly what I was doing with nodules nodule how many slag per nodule it's not even not slag per nodule it's slag slurry per nodule so nodules two nodules turn into 50 slag slurry as opposed to five slag becoming slag slurry so so, uh, I have, actually it's a timing thing though. So these are producing slag at one per second. And I have, uh, 24 of them. So I'm producing 24 slag per second from that. It's the same number of slag slurry, right? Yeah. So five slag, okay. let's, let's just math this out a little bit. We could turn five slag into 50 slag slurry. We have 24, uh, what are they called? Catalyzers. No, not catalyzers. They're electrolyzers. I probably spelled that wrong. Yes. 
electrolyzers, which are creating one slag per second. Right? The recipe is one and the speed is one. No, it's two. Okay. So it's actually produ it's producing half a slag per second. So we're producing a total of 12 slag per second. I thought we were getting so much more. Like I thought at one point we were looking at how much slag we were producing. Way up above. We were saying we were getting 40s, 16s from sorters. Half of our slag we thought was going to be coming from sorters. Oh, well. Not my concern right now. Not my concern. So if we were to get the equivalent amount of that using nodules, it would need uh, two nodules per 50 slurry. So, and it's producing in three seconds, and the speed of these is 1.5. So it's the same time, basically. Uh, so one nodule per second. And, but two nodules, well, we're producing one nodule per second. Two nodules turn into the story versus five slag. So this, if I just put up three of these, that would be the equivalent of all the electrolyzers. And I was talking about putting up 25. Um. Sure. Let's 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 do a trial of 10. We'll uh, we'll make more of these things. We'll convert some heavy water and then make a ton of modules. How do we make those washing? I could make blast furnace twos. I didn't realize that. What's the difference in them? Speed 1.5 versus one. And they're cheap. And they're uh, the energy consumption scales up, but by less than a third. A half again. It would be uh, 225 if it was uh, commensurate with the increased speed. Hmm. It's a thought. But right now, th those aren't the limiting factor ever, so I don't really care. What about these? I still haven't found the... There. Washing plant. Washing plant 2, I can't make yet. It needs a bunch of things I haven't been able to make. So, we won't pretend we don't see that. We'll make a bunch of washing plants. We'll need more boards, which probably means that we'll need more uh, solder. Unless this is filled up again. No. Needs more tin ingots. How's this doing in terms of that? Let's get rid of these. That was a bad idea when I first thought about it. <laughs> it's just making them take longer to switch to the next uh, tier. Yeah, we're not being very efficient in, in all this. We're getting quite a bit of this secondary ore, though, that we don't know what to do with yet. But I need this to be going faster. To 
the point. Let's just, uh, let's only send it up for a little bit just to get the solder going. We could just steal some solder from after it cuts off from the, uh, main bus. One thing I like so far is that, well, <laughs> there are many things I like so far, but one thing in particular that I'm enjoying is that none of the research takes that much. It's all like 50, 50, 30, 20. Not, it doesn't like require you to do 200 research for every little thing. The research packs are more complex, so it kind of balances out, but I like feel we're making decent progress with only four chemical labs instead of the like I'd normally set up like a, a group of 20 of them because we can just very easily support that in the base game anyway we need a ton of these so let's go grab them that was only enough for three. Oh, we don't we don't we need steel pipe ah that's a problem Cutting into our steel production even more. Our uh, iron production even more. Yeah, that's ten more. Need more bricks. But yeah, if the power usage is different too. This is 300. And these are... 100 each. So, I could imagine switching over all of our incoming slurry to, uh, to nodules instead of dealing with this mess. What was I just doing? I was looking for... stone. How's this doing? It is stopped. I forgot. We are not inserting into it anymore. Now oh, it's going to take forever to make all that steel. But, oh well. It'll give us time to plan things out. How's this doing? No slurry. Plenty of sludge. Slurry is limited by slag, but it's being augmented by rocks, but the second rock thing has not made a single product since we first put it down and it consumed the first set of uh, the, the built up rock. But that's going fine, I mean it's, it's making some eventually. Mineral water is nice and good. Yeah, so this has started having trouble outputting fast enough. So the sulfuric wastewater is building up and we are discarding it. Is that really a problem? Probably not. I mean, it's a, little sh it's a bit of a shame that we can't say, take the mineral water from here first instead of having to take it from here. But I haven't figured out a way to make that happen yet. So. How's coal doing? Still not backed up again. Yeah, a little bit of, of, of those sitting there. They're all moving now. They just uh, have it saturated fully. Okay. No more sitting around. We need to go and do stuff. Well, that's all happening. So how are we going to lay this out? Interesting. Kinetic test, test, test target plating. What was that before? Oh, it's for the next year of science. 
I hadn't even thought about it. But yeah, we're going to have to go into military just to get the next year of science. Would not be bad to get more better fire, um, better piercing rounds so we could take out those worms. I don't quite get how the inserter configuration works, so I'm gonna I'm just ignoring it kind of for now. Can't make those. I could make that. Better crushers. I guess is the idea just that they are well better sorting facility. I can't make yet. This would let me make, do the thing with the Jivalite ore. We should get that just until we can figure out exactly what's going on there. Okay, how are we gonna lay this out? We're gonna get a ton of these eventually. So. We said we do it with 10. Um, no, let's go ahead and just do a full 25. <laughs> why, 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 why dream small? So we'll need... Uh, we'll need three of these converting viscous to heavy. Um, we'll leave a space. For the uh, regular water. Uh, yeah, that, that that's fine. We might want to space these even more, actually. Let's just imagine if we were just to make that one, this one here in the middle. It will be... Just pretend it's that that's fine. We can hook it up. So what we want to do from there... Uh, that A single one of them is going to produce 30 per second. Wait a minute, why was I thinking that I'd be getting 300 per second? No, I could, I could, I could get three, I, I wouldn't need three of them though, I need ten. Ah, that's not what I want to do. Really? One of these could produce, could, could keep two and a half of these going. Well, let's not dream small. Let's let's um let's go ahead and, and say we're gonna do it. We're gonna make ten of these that just produce a ton of uh we should go lower. Stop being mean, man. Sorry, fish. We're gonna need so many more of those. Which essentially means more steel. That's fine. Is this really a good idea? I don't know. Maybe we'll dream smaller. So let's find a smaller ratio. Oh, instead of having 300 per second, let's just do 100. We're going to pretend that this is not giving us a full set. So. Nah, it's not a multiple of 12. Let's do 120. <laughs> that works out nicely. So we'll have 120, which will require 4. Viscous to heavies. And then we can have 10 in response to it. So, one, two. Mm. 
I'm going to have to figure out how to get the right things in the right places. And then all of it will get combined. Actually, I still things. Let's go get some more. We have underground. We have plenty of undergrounds, relatively. Pipes are a little tricky because they're harder to walk between. They're kind of annoying to deal with. Okay, let's just get this power so we can at least see what it's going to be like. So, it, oh, it's going to produce mud too, I forgot. We're going to have to get rid of the mud. Uh, so there'll be a line of mud going up. Using this regular. Right? needs water, I know, but it's producing one mud every five seconds, which is fine. And we'll just turn all the mud into more ground. the same. That will happen very slowly, but it will happen. a bad idea putting all this there. Now I can't get it out very easily. I have to do it from below. Uh, so we said we were going to do what? Ten? Ten nodules. So four to ten. Turn higher just to not take up so much space. What is the output of this? Wait a second. It makes a nodule and it creates nothing. There's no there's no water output. 
It just needs input. Yep. That's so surprising for me now. <laughs> Let's just get re military. It's kind of annoying that it won't accept water from both sides. Though it's, you know, then we don't have to run every other one. But I can see what the, the idea of that, that is. Because we can't, like, flip it around and bring the water in on both. Because then the other outputs are going the wrong way. Or the other, the input and output are going the wrong way. Uh, should we go sideways, perhaps? Nah, let's just go down. And we'll have uh, a line running up this way. And the same thing on the other side. Although it would be kind of convenient if it was the other direction, but like I said, that doesn't work very well. Interesting. Turrets Mark II. With more health, with range. Okay. So 519 damage plus 25. 418 without the damage. Interesting. Well, I don't really care about it. So forget about it. Let's just keep let's get all these smelting things out of the way. But yeah, definitely when we set up smelting again, we are gonna the end product will be ingots. And then we'll combine the ingots somewhere else. And uh into different types of ore. Okay, so this is gonna need a ton of different uh different pipes. Uh is that gonna work? That's not gonna work. Uh yeah it will. It'll work because on this side we can just go straight into the middle. We don't need to go up and down. We might actually have trouble with uh, water. Like how much we, a water pump provides. Where is it? I know I've got one. There. Oh no, it provides twelve hundred a second. Twelve thousand, twelve hundred a second. That's that's not gonna be a problem. <laughs> Never mind. So we'll have like a single pipe right there that we can then move over this way too. I guess it doesn't matter actually. We can just go ahead and put that there. There. Alright. And we have to hook this to that, of course. 
Uh, we can do that right here. All right. Now the output right there. Uh, regular servers. I have a good feeling about this. I think this is going to solve a lot of our problems. Maybe. Wow, ah, we haven't hooked that up yet. Let's fix that. Yeah, now we got tons of nodules. We might double this up and, and like mirror it on the other side. Yeah, a second. Bunch of nodules coming in. Maybe. They all working? Six, 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 six. Looks we'll like it. Okay. Now we have to take them somewhere. Um, we can put them right here alongside this rock. It feels like they're a lot freer than uh, than the electrolyzers. But well, the electrolyzers are pretty free, though. So I mean, they're they're just turn turn electricity into to rock. This was never a help. That whole bit there. And I've always been skeptical that this matters at all. Why isn't this executing more? We are low on sulfuric acid. Oh, because, yeah, wow, I did not realize, I, I didn't realize that we were, yeah, excuse my incoherent talking. We took away this whole hydro plant, uh, curing the sulfuric acid and getting more I guess we can't do that entirely. Hmm. You know, it's terrible to do this. But I'm thinking it might be easier just to disconnect the mineral water. And just throw away all the min mineral water from up here. Uh, I hate to do it. I hate to do it. But until we get better ways to regulate the... The, the the incoming, we're gonna end, we're we're gonna keep on having troubles with coal because these get shut off. So let's go for it. It's painful, but we'll take it. Ah, uh, how we do how would you do this? Oh, we're actually out of landfill. I hate throwing away mineral water when we've had so much trouble with mineral water, but we can't let the sulfur back up. That's just not going to work. I mean, I, I thought we'd had, uh, we, we had like 5,000 sulfur sitting in three chests, but apparently, apparently we're consuming sulfur awfully quick too. Eh. 
Anyway. We'll give that a second to catch up, but then that should be fine. Ah, uh, so... Let's just send one of each up. And not match them at all. So we'll have one, two, three, four. I guess we'll have six. Uh, try and that—that that seems stupid. And how many? How much does this need? This needs five every three seconds. Or one point six 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 per second. So we can, we could do eight, actually. So six is completely feasible. Okay, uh, well, ignore that. We'll just continue on past it. I don't know, it never seems like it's saturated. So, maybe, maybe six is fine. Did we just disconnect our entire base? I think we did. Ah. So many belts around here, I get, it's hard to move around. I need more liquefiers. There. Ah, uh, needs more iron. Of course they do. Everything does. How's the uh, sulfuric acid coming along? Caught up yet? Sulfur dioxide, skip. Okay, we caught up real fast. And now this can't even output. <laughs> This is very sad, throwing away this mineral water. Oh well. Alright. So, we'll have one going down, one up. Ah, uh, down, up. Down, up. Let's do six. So we want to make slurry from... Interesting, I, that's, this is how I make viscous mud water? No. I don't want nodule sludge either. I want... Slag Surrey. Ah, from Nodules. Although now that they mention it, what's Nodule Sludge used for? I can turn... I can turn crushed Nodules into Slag. 
at a terrible rate. But it also gives me nodule sludge. And then I can use nodule sludge to make manganese or chrome. And that's the only way to get chrome. What's chrome we use good for? Uh, chroming it, chrome, chrome plate. It has no uses. I can't right click on it and see something. Oh. Well. If it doesn't have a use, I'm not going to bother with it. But maybe there's a different way of approaching it. Chrome ingots can be used to make iron more efficiently. I see. Oh well, not my problem right now. Right, right now my problem is this game more more slag slurry. When we have ridiculous amounts of slag slurry, then we can work and worry about efficiency in other endeavors. What are we doing with the... we're doing it over here. We are out of piped ground. Out of my way. Let me through. Okay, this is producing it. It needs two every three seconds, so a regular sorter will suffice. We sure have a lot of nodules. I mean, I'm kind of surprised this is working. I'm waiting for the catch. takes time of course but maybe better with two inserters it feels like there's some some gap time what are we doing down there we're doing double inserter okay well. but everywhere else excuse me everywhere else it needs um five anyway this would keep it going So what did that do to our slag slurry production? A oh, nice solid increase. Yeah, very nice. We probably are producing too much to filter right now. What's the cycle again? Ah, that's, that's, that's the steam. I wonder what this was back right then. Oh well, doesn't matter. Yeah, for a while we were producing slag at slurry at quite the rate. Hopefully we'll recover that. It's almost worth looking on the 50 hour graph now. We're, we're past the 25 mark. We're about 35 or something like that. I don't know. How about the sulfuric wastewater? How is that? doing. Seems fine. Anyway, 
Probably we need more crystallizers now, but I don't want to change anything there until we finish research researching everything. So what's holding up the research? Nothing. It's all going just fine. It just needs to be allowed to happen. Slowly but surely. I'm kind of... I, I, I know I could build more of these. I don't want to. Because if we do, we'll have no iron to work with at all. Anywhere else. I mean, even now, it's it's having trouble getting backed up. Let me just look at the power usage. What did, what did all this nodule stuff do? Um... Not much. Where are these? The, those. Wow. So these are in total only producing 1.4 compared to 7.4, and I'm pretty sure they're close to a parity in terms of stack slurry. Right? Which is two and this, no, that's even worse. This was producing 120 seconds slurry a second. Uh, this was producing. Uh, we said we did. We made 10 of them, so we're making 10 nodules a second, and that's five. That's uh, 10 nodules a second is 500. No, is 250. Wait a minute. Five nodules per second. And, no, it wasn't five nodules per second. It was ten nodules per second. Which means we're activating the, the every every time... It needs two, no, two nodules to activate. And each activation provides 50. So we're producing 250 no, um, slag slurry just from the ten of those. That's twice as much. I thought there was a parity. It's not even close to a parity. Why am I bothering to do the electrolytes anymore? I mean, look how much... Hmm. Okay. I wonder if... <laughs> I wonder if my life would have been a lot easier if I'd done some more handcrafting of the green science to get to the point where I could do nodules. Because they seem really powerful. Yeah. Now our slag slurry is full. Anyway... Time, well, I'm going to have to think about how we're going to redo this because that's just, um, we need more crystallizers. We need to, the ore sorting to happen in a better way. So for now, I'm going to take a break. Thank you everyone for watching. My name is Michael Young. This is Factorio using the C-Block Mod Pack. Thank you.